Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Um, I just mounted the solar inverter like in the garage makeshift. I found this uh, RTA cabinet that I just put together so I'm gonna store stuff up here. Maybe I'll put the battery up there uh, and then run it down to here. But I have it hooked up, connected to one of the batteries right now. The battery just completed. It's uh, balancing the balance that took like five days but it finally balanced it to five millivolts i just left the shrink this wrap on because i didn't want anything to fall on it right now because i'm still waiting i'm still waiting for parts to come i haven't received every parts yet all i received was like the 10 gauge wires which was for my solar panel i have a 300 and 25 or 315 watt solar panel that was used and on a good day, I'll see 215, maybe 225, but I've never seen it go up to 300 yet. But I think because the battery's full and everything, and I'm not using a lot of power because I haven't done anything yet, I just hooked it up to charge the battery and balance the battery. But so far, uh, the inverter seems good. Uh, the only thing I had a problem with was holding it up and trying to mount it because the screw hole didn't come with those keyhole style where you can put a screw first and then kind of drop it in place and then lock it up but so I had to hold it up and then screw it in which was pretty hard because it was pretty heavy and got my solar solar panel hooked up I wish I could get another one but I live in an HOA hard to put anything up without their permission and I installed for the AC out just this reciprocal box which has been powering the fan in the garage but I turned it off right now because it's kind of loud and then maybe charge my phone or charge my action cam here but overall I kind of like it already you know like it charges the battery it but oh I need to put a AC in just in case when there's no solar power or stuff like that but I still haven't figured out how to install that yet and I made room for like maybe put a circuit breaker box to power up the certain things that I want to power up or just cut a, a power strip and just use the power strips instead so far I think it's been charging the battery well with how many amps coming two amps now it goes higher once the battery is lower so yeah let's see there's no load yet it goes like it bounces from four to five watts with the inverter on but I just have it on so sometime I wanted to drain the battery a bit there's a few settings inside which so on the solar panel we're getting 38 volts right now only 65 watt because like I said the battery's kind of full watch when I turn on the fan so it starts to go up the fan only takes like 60 watts so it might not even jump that high but I plan to try to use up the 24 kilowatt inverter from this so I got like a 1500 watt heat gun and one of those uh, vacuum or shop vac 14 gallon shop vac so I'll plug those two together later on but let me finish charging the battery so far so good it's charging I'm gonna balance some more batteries here since it takes five days and maybe by that time all my parts will show up so if you guys have any questions if you guys want me to review something or talk about a certain thing just leave it in the comments below and if you want to see more videos go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one sorry this didn't really have too much but I just mounted it up and everything and charging the batteries let's look at them so this one's already balanced though so this one's balanced at six millivolts now I turned it off since it was already balanced so I should have kept it to put on the video but I got a picture of it Alright, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.